I did, I want to talk on TV. Um, so today I want to just share about my experience with design thinking, where the face you guys are, it's going to be like, the whole process start, start like this and then go all the way like here, you're just finding ways. And then sometimes you go backward and then you keep going. And then until a point you will start narrowing down and then to a point that you, you, you find out a plan to execute. This is typically what I feel from. Can I have a oh, sure. Thank you. What I feel from zero to one is typically like from here to here. Like you first get one customer that they really care about the value you bring to them. And at the same time, you can, after that, you can scale. So things here are like, um, have, you, have you guys have any other design thinking class before or like, um, no? So I just talk whatever I want. <laughs> okay. Um, the first thing I would definitely do is start with like customer point of view to find out like what are the pain points. Among a thousand pain points, everyone are like just bitching about the things they, they hate. And you can find out like, okay, maybe our technology can solve one, one of them. So you start with like the idea of um, using, we call this like, so matching technology, we build MVP, like most valuable product, not MBA, MVP, <laughs> it's totally different. And then you just, keep doing customer research. So you, more like user study. And then here is almost like prototyping. And then you kind of lock down three more prototypes and then you lock down with, with one and then get, get like a PO or like a cash reward here. Or someone started to swipe their card online and that's how you kind of feel, I'm really validated this product to market fit, and then I just keep going this and scale. So, but if, in terms of company growth, you'll feel like this. It's all flat until here, you start growing. So that's like, it's taking typically 12 months to actually get the first order. So, um, So this is like the, the first money you actually generate for the co company. Okay. Like either from Kickstarter you can get paid from Kickstarter or you can run your pre-order event online. So from here, typically what, what I did was, um, you know, from point of view, do you guys know where, where to get, I want to share some to tools to you guys. You know how to get point of views besides asking your classmates? Online service. Online service. What kind of service are you using? Uh, Mac CRM. M Mac CRM. CRM. This? Yeah. What else have you guys been using? Customer service. Which, which, which brand? Face to face. How, how, where did you get the customers? Uh, Mechanical Code. Mechanical Code is, is a good one. What's that? Craigslist. Yeah, Craigslist is, I like Craigslist a lot. <laughs> I think LinkedIn is good too. Every monkey is good too. Have any one of you paid every monkey and buy a survey from them yet? Okay. Well, um, how how long is your entire program? Three months? Two months? Six weeks. Six weeks. Okay, that's enough. Actually, so I, I'm going to share all of the tools that I use and the methods. And the, I can tell you that 
I spent 10 days to design a product concept and I did all of the steps in a very fast manner. And then I actually got selected by Y Combinator to like get, it, get interview with their investors and then they really want to invest in my product. The only reason I don't want to do is I, I don't feel like 10 days is enough for a maturity of the project. But basically, um, I found out if we start with here, right? So I can tell you all the pros and cons. cons. For, I, I don't use Mac CRM a lot, but mechanical terms, there's a, if you are de developing a product like for like house, household use, like housewife or someone who live at house a lot, and this is a perfect place. So for example, if I'm, I was designing a, wa a washing machine f to replace hand wash. In that design product process, I use a lot of here because those are like typically like pregnant uh, wives, they are stay, staying home or like yeah, new moms, they are just staying home. So new moms are also very good if you have development products for new moms, this is ideal. Most of the costs are the same, like one per survey. So it's kind of okay. This is also one per survey. This is sometimes like 10. Cracklist is sometimes hard because it's more uh, broader scope. If you're looking for, so here if you're looking for age from like 20 to 40, you can use Mechanical Turk. Cracklist, I feel like it's typically 25 to 35. It's, it's like a very, very niche range of people who are spending time online. And then LinkedIn, I think LinkedIn is, is weird. It's, it's all various from like 20 to 50. It's like a very wide range. So Monkey, there's a, there's a pretty wide range. I tried to buy a survey from 20 to, to like no limit, and it end up half of my survey result is from 65 plus, and then half of them are from, from like, um, I think 20 to 30 or something. So people basically are just not doing work and they want to get some other cash. So this is a good mindset that if you are develop, developing an elder product, you can go to Survey Monkey and it's very cheap for you to buy the ad or buy, the, buy a survey from them. So the cost I'm here, I'm trying to uh, tell you is that this is the cost of the actual person filling up your survey. This person, you have no clue what their background is, but they can tell you like their race, they can tell you their Caucasian, or like Asian or others. They can tell you their income, they can tell you your, their location, these kind of details. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to tell you all of the content. I, there's no bullshit or no jokes in my, in my training, so it's going to be a little bit boring if you're if you are going to sleep, but there's going to be a lot of content here. Um, so for some monkey, there's a, also another trap is that not all of the users actually report their background actually honestly. So you typically find some of difference. Um, it's very obvious that if this guy can earn more than, let's say $200,000 per year, they don't care if the product is $200 or $100. But sometimes if I have a strap, it's like you prefer this product to be below $50, but they are earning more than $200,000 a year. I feel like this is not a valid survey. I'll just take that out of my count. So after this phase, you can actually find out um, what, their, what is their daily routine or, or what are the pain points. Like another example for my experience, is when I ask them what are the pain points in laundry, I will not just ask them what are your pain points in laundry. I will walk over the steps from can you tell me what was your last time to do your laundry? And I, they will start remember. We have to help them to paint the picture in their mind. So they will start to remember as like, okay, last time I do the laundry was um, maybe last weekend, last Saturday. And I will also follow up with a question that, was it a sunny day or was it like a, just a rainy day or something like, like that? So they will get more engaged with that actual question and they will feel like they are back to the Saturday and go this step by step as what's the first thing you do, what's the second thing you do, what's the third thing you do, and how is the whole process feeling. 
And now I started to go into like, what are the specific questions that, or pain points that actually bothers them? I don't know if I turn it on. It's on? Okay. So then in that kind of mindset, mindset they will already be building with the image and they will just feel like they just finished their laundry like two minutes ago. And then they will tell you what exactly their pain point is. Besides, besides that, I also already have my list about like, I have five assumptions or hypotheses that I feel like they could have pain points. Like when women separate their um, undergarments or delicate dresses, will they actually do that? And I'll just follow all that questions after they complain or everything. And so always keep your questions as like just a list of like their daily use and then go to your list afterward. Never start with, the, start with the list, because start with the list is very hard to actually get their engagement. They will just try to you know, bullshit you and just spend five minutes with you and then get the cash and go. 